Hey YouTube, Hirok Master here, bringing you guys a Kaiju Gradle deck profile for April 2016. The deck doesn't need a whole lot of extra deck, and some of the extra deck is just broken. Like, I'll get to it in a minute, but bring you guys deck. It's only 60, I only have 36 cards for now, but I've just got some fillers that you'll know what they are. So, to start off, um, two Star Destroying. He's your boss kaiju. He, um, with, he's a 33k beater with a 2600 defense. And what he does is, all of them have the same effect by tributing one monster to your opponent controls and special it to their side of the field. And then if you control, if they control a kaiju monster, special this card to your side of the field and attack. Uh, you can only control one kaiju monster during either player's turn. And th this is its special effect. Um, during either player's turn, when a card or effect is activated, targets exactly one card and no other cards. Remove three kaiju cannons from anywhere on the field. Negate the effect. If you do, you can destroy one card in the field. So not only does it negate... Um, so when your opponent activates a card or effect, you can just negate it. So if they activate Dark Destroy, negate it. And you can destroy any card on the field. So not only do you just negate the card, you can destroy any not, any card on the field. So it doesn't have... If he said negate and destroy that card and then destroy one card on the field, it'd be a little bit better. But at the moment, it's just negate one card, negate an effect, and then destroy one card. So I don't run three because... You only get them out through um, interrupted kaiju slumber, but just like them at two. Um, whoops. Then I've only got two, but that's meant to be a third. Three Dagorian um, has the same effect as to special summon um, once, per and then it's um, up when its main effect. Once per turn, you can remove three kaiju counters from anywhere on the field, destroy all monsters your opponent controls, and this card can attack the turn you activate its effect. So it's just a it's just a dark hole of field, except this card. Oh no, it's just it's a regeki. The card's basically a regeki. It's a level eight, so that'll help going into the XZ monsters that I've got installed. Um, then two Raiden. Um, I like the Raiden special to my opponent's side of the field, but if I need to, um, <sighs> once per turn, remove two Kaiju Counts from anywhere on the field, special summon one Raiden token. Um, it's got, it's got the same attribute, it's a Fiend, Dark, level 7, 2800 attack and zero defense, but it can't be used for a Synchro. So, you do is... You yeah, special this, remove two counters, special summon, pretty much just another Raiden, except this one's the token. So you special a token with the same attack, same level, same attribute, same pretty much everything except for defense. So it's level seven, not bad. Then I don't have three, but triple Gamishiel. Um this is the one you always special to your opponent's side of the field. So, interrupt the Kaiju Slumber, destroy all attack, all monsters, special and special, and then this will just destroy that. So, whoops. Gamishiel, you can, um, when you're, during our post turn, when your opponent activates a card or effect, accept Gamishiel, remove two Kaiju counters from anywhere on the field, negate the activation, and if you do, banish that card. So, instead of the destruction effect of that monster, so if they go for Dark Destroyer, and it activates its effect, activate Gamishiel, remove two Kaiju counters, Negate and banish their Dark Destroyer. And if they've got Cosmo Town, they're going to have to pay life points to get it back. But if you're up against um, Dynamists or stuff like that and they activate an effect, you can just banish it, negate and banish by removing two Kaiju Counters. But the Kaiju Counters are pretty easy to get on the field thanks to a couple of cards. Then for the last Kaijus, I run two Gardala, the Mystery Dust Kaiju. It's got the third, fourth highest attack out of all of them, with Star Destroying being the most, then Dagorian, Raiden, this card, and then Gamishiel. Um, what it does is, once per turn, during either player's turn, remove three Kaiju counters from anywhere on the field, the attack and defense of all the monsters on the field become halved. So you special this card, and then, well, first you give your opponent Gamishiel, um, 
if you've got, well, actually, if they give you, if they, you give them Gamish Shield, they just banish this, but, so you just give them Raiden or something, so they can't activate the effect, then, um, remove three Kaiju counters, half the attack of all monsters on the field, except for him, yep, and then 2-7 will just take them all out, so with Cosmo, you get this on the field, half the attack, and their highest attack monster is Dark Destroyer at 3,000. They'll just be 1,500 and less, so you just be able to run them over really easily. So, two at the moment, because it's a good level 8. Yeah, it's a good level 8 to have. So, Gamishiel, Dagorian, and Gadala are your best level 8 kaijus, which you'll use later. Now for the Gradle portion. 3 Gator, um, when it's fairly simple, if it's destroyed by in your monster zone by a spell or battle, take one card, take one face up card your opponent controls, basically destroys this, equip, and then take their monster. So destroy by battle or by spell, Cobra's got the same effect if it's destroyed by battle or trap effect, and then Eagle has the same effect if it's destroyed by battle or monster effect. And once they get in the graveyard and you can't use them, you get one or two on the field and you go and I run two slime for the synchro. Um, destroy two Gradle cards you control and special summon this card. If this card's in your hand in graveyard, so you special from grave or hand um, by destroying, let's say, Eagle and Gator. Destroy these two. And then its effect, if it's special summoned this way, target one Gradle monster in your graveyard and special summon that target in defense. So you special Gator in defense, and if you destroy an Eagle using its effect, you get Eagle's effect off. Take one monster your opponent controls, and then you just synchro. So your Gradle slime sets up lots of your synchro plays. Well, not lots, all of your synchro plays. But that's it for monsters. Now for spells. Triple impact. Um... Target one other Gradle card you control, and one card your opponent controls, destroy them. And if you didn't use that effect, during your end phase, you can add one Gradle card from deck to hand. So, but you can only use either effect once per turn, and it's not stackable. So you cannot, so you can't activate all three impacts. Then our next card is Triple Kyoto Waterfront. Um, each tile card sent to the graveyard, place a counter on this card. So it's perfect. For this deck, since your Gradles get sent to the graveyard and then activate, so yep, and then once per turn, while you uh, while three or more Kaiju counters are on this card, add one Kaiju monster from your deck to your hand. If this card would be destroyed, remove a Kaiju counter from it instead. So it's just broken in the terms of destruction and search, um, and the amount of Kaiju counters you can get on this. So pretty much every time they destroy it, remove a counter, and you don't remove counters if you're searching. So, it's just perfect, except you remove counters when you activate your Gradle's effect, uh, your Kaiju's effect. Then two, Interrupted Kaiju Slumber, for the last of the spells. Not many spells, because you need all your monsters. Destroy as many monsters on the field as possible, then special summon in attack position two Kaiju monsters with different names from your deck, one on each side of the field. They can't change your battle positions, and they have to attack. And then during your main phase, except the turn this card was sent to the graveyard, Banish this and add a Kaiju monster from deck to hand. You can only activate one ka interrupted Kaiju slumber per turn. So, not only does it get you give you a Kaiju and your opponent Kaiju, it also searches during um, your next turn. So, it's just perfect for the deck. I don't run three because it's too cloggy. Then for traps, triple Gradle split uh, gives one monster. You control 500 attacks, so, so activate, equip, and gains 500. And then you can send this card and that monster to the graveyard. And then um, special summon two Gradle monsters with different names from your deck. So if you if you equip this to Cobra, pop Cobra using the trap, and then you get Cobra's effect off. So special put your Cobra in your spell trap code zone, take your opponent's monster, and then special summon two other Gradles. So very, very with that card. Then three capture card, uh, Kaiju capture mission. I like three. Once per turn, if there are less than three Kaiju counters on this card, target one Kaiju monster on the field, change it to face down defense, and then place a counter on this card. There's a maximum of three ca counters on this card. 
but you can have act, you could have three activated, and then they'd all have three, so they'd go up to nine counters. So the maximum count, maximum manic, amount of counters you can have on the field are fourteen due to the field card spell. And if this card in your possession is destroyed by an opponent's card and sent to the graveyard, draw two cards. So if it's destroyed and you haven't had a chance to activate it, you get draw power. So that's why I like having three. Then one parasite. So this just specials all your um, all your gradles from deck, so you can get their effects off. And also, if a gradle monster attacks, special summon one monster from their graveyard, and then you can attack their monster and take it, and then attack with their monster. So if they're not going to activate anything, parasite just goes for it. Then one bottomless and one compulse, just as it is. No special cards for the deck. Now, the extra deck, you don't quite need an extra deck since the Kaijus do it all for you, but you've got your choices. Um, two Gradle Dragon. I normally make it once or make both of them because I'm try I try to get rid of my opponent's back row as quickly as possible so I can go for the attacks. Also, they're level 8, so they'll go into your attack. They'll go into your um, rank 8 monsters. One Red Dragon Archfiend. So... I have this in here in case I'm up against the odd ghost tricks or the odd super heavies. So I can attack the uh, super heavy or ghost trick and destroy all defense position monsters on the field. So all their monsters go and then if um and then um yeah, if it attacks defense position monsters, destroy all defense position monsters your opponent controls. So it's your opponent controls. Then during the end phase, destroy all face up monsters all other monsters you control that did not declare an attack. This card must be face up on the field to activate and resolve. So if they put it face down before your end phase, then your monsters are safe. Whereas if it's face up, your monsters have to attack, obviously. Then the Stardust double, just to stop um, destruction and as eights. Now, I run two Aegean. Mainly because this card is broken. I don't know why no one runs it. But it requires two level 8s. So all your synchros are level 8s. And then you've got three of your um, kaijus that are level 8s. So it's easy to make. Uh, during either player's turn. So it's during either player's turn. So you can activate its effect each time. It's just... Yeah, during either player's turn. So you get to do it each time. So during your turn, during their turn. During your turn, during their turn. So it'll take you about eight turns to get do it, but banish one random face down monster from your opponent's extra deck face up. And if you do, this card's attack becomes equal to the banished monster's attack. So with people running all, so if you're up against the mirror match or Gradles, you make this in defense, activate effect, banish one random face down. So basically, the extra decks go face down now. So if you just choose one random one, then it's gone. Banish it, and then it gains attack equal to that monster's attack. So if you banish a 101, it'll go to 2-1, and then there are 101s banished. So you just can special this card in defense, and you just keep doing it, and it stacks its attack. And then, then just focus this here. During either player's turn, detach an Xe material, target one of your opponent's banished fusion, synchro Xe's, return it to the extra deck, and if you do, destroy one monster your opponent controls with the same name, uh, with your opponent controls with the same monster card type. So if you return a Synchro, you can destroy a Synchro. Return a Fusion, destroy a Fusion. Return an Xe, destroy an Xe. And then you can only use each effect once per turn. So you can just keep banishing, and then if they end up getting one out, return one, and then destroy it, and then banish it next turn. So it's this card's completely broken. And then topping up with the destruction and this destruction capabilities, um, one Lancelot. I would run more um, Lancelots and Aegeans, but at the moment I've only got one. Two level eight. This card can attack your opponent, your opponent directly while it has an Z material. When this card inflicts battle damage to your opponent, target one uh, face up monster your opponent controls and destroy it. And then during either player's turn, when a spell or trap card is activated or an, another monster's effect is activated, detach, negate the activation. So it doesn't destroy the monster, it just negates. So if they go for a goblin bird, just negate it by detaching. And then they've got a face-up monster that can't be used. 
so you can just attack direct and then destroy the Goblinburg later. So, yeah. So th th that, guys, is my Gradle Kaiju deck profile. I uh, hope you liked it. Don't forget to leave a like. Uh, comment if you've got anything to say about the deck. Um, subscribe to my channel. Visit my friend Fresh Snow's channel for, like, Yu-Gi-Oh! related or PS4 related videos once he gets more stuff up. And also visit my friend Shadow Flames deck um, channel. He does deck profiles, pack openings soon. He hasn't been on lately, but he's got some pack openings at the moment that you can check out. But this is Heroic Master signing out.